A big weekend. Let's check in with uh, Storm Team meteorologist Dave Nussbaum uh, for the latest. I mean, look look behind you. That's not a good start. So far, so good, <laughs> yeah, right? See, trying That's to nice. clean out the yeah. Campbell ends here. But no, That's yeah, weird. a lot of fog in some spots this morning. This is Tuscaloosa starting off our day today. Quite foggy out there. It's 72 degrees. Light winds. The dew point matches your temperature. It's pretty muggy. We have that foggy weather there. How about we take a live look down in Montevallo this morning as well. We also have some foggy conditions to speak of for you as well. So beginning our day today there from Barron Critical Weather Institute camera. Plenty of fog down there, so uh, just be aware as you go around town, you will run into some of that foggy conditions. Visibility nearby in Alabaster, quarter mile, same for Tuscaloosa, less than two tenths of a mile there in Jasper. A little fog in Anniston as well as Alex City this morning. Temperatures down there, 69, 71 from Alabaster, Moundville back to Talladega and Anniston. We're at 73 in Birmingham, 63 though up in Coleman, back to Hamilton, our cool spots. A lot of high clouds out there, and you'll see again some showers just off to our southwest. Big storms rolling out of Jackson into Meridian. Here with some damaging winds. The outflow or the high series clouds from those are working the way on into our area. No rain or anything now, but this front will be lifting its way to the north later today, giving us threat for some strong to severe thunderstorms. It's level two slight risk to our southwest, level one across much of central Alabama. Threats again, damaging winds, maybe some hail mixed in as well. Something we'll keep an eye on throughout the day today, along with some heavy rain. So for that morning workout, not bad. Just watch out for the clouds and fog all the way through lunchtime. By afternoon, yes, scattered storms return. And if you head out to Still City Jazz Fest today, 80s uh, this afternoon, 4 o'clock there as it kicks off till 1030 tonight. Tomorrow, not much rain, but it'll be hot out there from 11 a.m. till 1015 in the evening. So future cast will show today again, maybe a few sprinkles initially here, but pretty quiet from lunchtime. By the afternoon, we start seeing those thunderstorms popping up, continuing through 5, 6 o'clock. Again, these could be strong, severe with those winds and hail and very heavy rain as well. They'll continue through 7 o'clock tonight, Alabaster, Calera area back to Tuscaloosa. Even still some rain by 10 o'clock tonight. Now those showers initially pushed to the south, but new ones may develop overnight into tomorrow morning. So we may start Saturday for some of you with some storms, but Saturday itself, not much in the way of severe weather. Again, still any that develop off to our south could produce some gusty winds and hail, but Sunday a better chance of seeing a slight risk off to the western part of the state, but a level one back here in Birmingham. So we have to keep an eye on the storms later on Sunday. So future cast will show there are the storms Saturday morning morning to our south. A few pop up ones in the afternoon. Temperatures only about 91 only. It's pretty hot out there. 88 Saturday evening if you're going out and Sunday morning will start off pretty quiet in the 60s. But by the afternoon temperatures are warming up to the 80s. Clouds are turning. Eventually we'll get some rain back in the forecast as well, too. So looking ahead at your Father's Day weekend forecast, you'll see here we are talking about uh, Saturday 91, 88 with their strong storms late in the day on Sunday. So keep that in mind. Heading to Monday for Juneteenth, morning rain could get heavy at times, but then scattered storms continue through the rest of the week.